It's been the privilege of my life for 30 years to have been taught everything of value by gang members. And in the last few years, they've taught me how to text, and so I'm really grateful to them because I find it sure beats the heck out of actually talking to people. And, and I'm pretty dexterous at it, uh, LOL and OMG and BTW. And the homies have taught me a new one, OHN, which apparently stands for, oh, hell no. <clears throat> and I've been using that one quite a bit lately. My alma mater, Gonzaga University, uh, called me and said uh, they were going to have a big talk on a Tuesday night with a thousand people. And so I, you know, uh, I said, sure. And they said, can you bring two homies with you? And I always pick homies who have never flown before just for the thrill of seeing gang members panicked in the sky. <laughs> I've never picked anybody more terrified of flying than this guy, Mario. He was just absolutely petrified. In fact, he was hyperventilating. <gasps> and we hadn't even boarded the plane yet. And then our, our flight crew arrives and I see two flight attendants, females, and they both have very large cups of Starbucks coffee and they're schlepping up the front steps. And Mario goes, when are we gonna board the plane? I said, as soon as they sober up the pilots. <laughs> I should tell you that Mario in our 30 year history at Homeboy is the most tattooed individual who's ever worked there. His arms are all sleeved out, neck blackened with the name of his gang head shaved, covered in tattoos, forehead, cheeks, chin, eyelids that say the end, so that when he's lying in his coffin, there's no doubt. <laughs> and so I'd never been in public with him and we're walking and people are like this and mothers are clutching their kids more closely. And I'm thinking, wow, isn't that interesting? Because if you were to go to Homeboy on Monday and ask anybody there who's the kindest, most gentle soul who works there, they won't say me. They'll say, Mario, he sells baked goods at the counter at our cafe. He's proof that only the soul that ventilates the world with tenderness has any chance of changing the world. So the nighttime talk comes and it's a thousand people and I invite them up to share their stories in front of all these people for five minutes each. They were terrified, but they did a good job. And honest to God, if their stories had been flames, you'd have to keep your distance, otherwise you'd get scorched. I invite them up for Q&A, and, and I said, yes, ma'am, and a woman stands, and she says, yeah, I got a question, it's for Mario. First question out the gate. And Mario steps up to the microphone, he's a tall drink of water, skinny, and clutching the microphone, and he's terrified, yes. And she says, well, you say you're a father and you have a son and a daughter who are about to enter their teenage years. What advice do you give them? What wisdom do you impart to them? And Mario clutches his microphone and he's just terrified and he's trembling and he's getting a hernia trying to come up with whatever the hell he's going to say when, when finally he blurts out, I just... And he stops and he retreats back to his microphone clutching terrified retreat but he wants to get this whole sentence out I just don't want my kids to turn out to be like me and there's silence until the woman who asked the question stands and now it's her turn to cry and she says why wouldn't you want your kids to turn out to be like you. You are loving, you are kind, you are gentle, you are wise. I hope your kids turn out to be like you. And a thousand total perfect strangers stand and they will not stop clapping. And all Mario can do is hold his face in his hand so overwhelmed with emotion that this room full of people, strangers, had returned him to himself and they were returned to themselves. And I think you go from here to stand with the demonized so that the demonizing will stop. And you stand with the disposable so that the day will come when we stop throwing people away. And you stand with those whose dignity has been denied and you stand with those whose burdens are more than they can bear and you stand with the poor and the powerless and the voiceless, make those voices heard. <laughs>